Hey guys, it's Nikki with That Homeschool Life. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite math manipulatives that I think every homeschooler should have. My opinion, just my opinion. Hey guys, it's Nikki with That Homeschool Life. Okay, so really quickly, I want to get into the manipulatives. All right, so my first and probably my favorite math manipulative is a place value mat. Now, not all place value mats are made equally. Now, the reason why I like this one, and this is um, it's like a laminated, it's a, it's a shiny, it's a shiny material, so you can use it with a dry erase marker. I got this off of Amazon. I think it's the name is here. You don't see that? Hope y'all can see that. Now, oops. Okay. Whew. So you have. The ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now, why I like this kind of version is because of this. You have the text, the numerical equivalent, and then the picture, okay? Now, if you're using a math curriculum such as Singapore Math slash Primary Mathematics, um, that curriculum um, follows a concrete pictorial abstract approach, which you use in high school, which is uh, algebra, geometry, and algebra two. Sidebar, if you do it in that order, you follow the concrete pictorial abstract uh, version, which is very key for your development. That's a whole nother video. Okay, so you want to use that and you want to have the base 10 blocks as pictures. This is this helps your child make sense and manipulate the numbers in his or her head more than you know. So with that, oh, and this one is double-sided. So you have the ones, tens, hundreds on one side, and then on the other side, you have your decimal places. So ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, okay? It doesn't have the pictures, but it does have it on this side because it wouldn't work on the other side, right? Because it's decimals. Okay, now with that place value mat, you're going to use base 10 blocks. Now I took this off of my, I have a whole shelf. I think I have 12 cubbies and it, it's all filled with manipulatives. I, I have a lot. I'll probably do a video on my entire collection of manipulatives, but right now. So my second manipulative, base 10 blocks. And this is what they look like. You start with your ones, which are your, your, your cubic centimeters, your cubic centimeters, your ones. And then you have your 10 rods. I'll just show you a couple. That's what they look like, your 10 rods. Notice the perforation you have for each one. And then you have your 100 plate. Yes. My dog. No, my kids are not chewing on this. This was my puppy. <laughs> you have your 10 plate, which, you know, your 10 rods, 10 of them make one hundredths plate. And then you have your thousand block. Oh, I should. Would have been nice if I lined them all up together, huh? So you have your thousand block, which is 10 hundred plates, thousand block. A hundred plate. Y'all, these have been in the ringer in my house. Those aren't puppy. This is for my kids. So a uh, hundreds plate. Ten rods. Your ten rod. And your cubic centimeter. Your one unit. Okay? So if you can get a place value map that has the pictures of the base 10 blocks that really helps your child out more than you know okay i'll have a you know i might make if you guys are interested i might make a video on number sense and why certain things matter so place value mat number one manipulative number two base 10 blocks oh as an aside when i was using um uh, math uc sorry math uc when my child, when my middle child was struggling with uh, multiplication and division, I um, bought, now this is not on their website, you actually have to call them. Well, it wasn't on their website like four years ago, but these are magnetic and they actually make it for you. It's magnetic and um, look how big it is. And so I was using things on the whiteboard and 
Uh, I forget the gentleman's name who's the creator of Matthew C. He, um, he's, he was using this on the whiteboard. And then when I tried to buy it, it, it didn't exist. They just had the little smaller versions, which I do have downstairs. But for those of you interested, um, he has a, a, a bigger life size, size version of all the rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a hundred, and I don't think he has a thousand. No, he doesn't have a thousand. So that was just a little sidebar. So base ten blocks. All right, number three. I'm not going in any particular order. Multiplication. Uh, learning wraps. Learning wraps are pretty popular. They've been around forever. They're self-correcting keys. So if you get the answers wrong the thread will not be lined up with the lines on the back and these multiplication wrap-up keys go up to 12. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, this only goes up to 10? I thought it went up to 12. Huh, no wonder I had a supplement, but it goes up to 10. Shame, I thought this went up to 12. Oh well, it's been so long since we used these, but still good. It's a great way to um, practice your multiplication without rote memorization, okay? It's hands-on. You can take it anywhere you want to, wherever you want to go, and there you go. So that's multiplication. Math dice. So I have math dice for place value, and that's just some extra overflow, and then um, intermediate multiplication. And these were dice games I bought online from Amazon. That's what the package looks like. It's, oh, I cut off the name of the company. I'll leave a link down below. I think it's Kaplow Games. But well, these are the dice. So you have your units, your ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And then uh, it gives you uh, uh, some ideas of how to use um, all of the place values so you can get a better number sense of that. And then for the intermediate multiplication, you have your hexahedron dice. You have your um, uh, dodecahedron and, uh, you know, you just have all the polyhedron dice. So those are really portable, fun to use. Just go on Pinterest. There are so many ideals. Just type in math dice. And then for the intermediate one, if you want to get a more nuanced um, result back, type in uh, multiplication dice with uh, polyhedron dice, okay? Math games with polyhedron dice, okay? Uh, what else? Money. Coin stamps. Oh, Coin stamps. Money, knowing about your money is important. So these I got off eBay. Now these are your coins. You can see they've been used very well. Now, now one set is the front of the coin because your children, um, that's your 50 cent piece. Your children need to know what the front and back of a coin looks like. Let me show you one. There you go. That's what that looks like upside down. And, but you, but you get to see what the picture looks like as you're stamping, so. So that's the front of the coin. And then here's the back of the coins. That looks pretty realistic, huh? Let me see if I can keep it all together and flip it. There you go. Is that better? There, you guys can see that. So those are the backs of the coins. I have one more money um, thing. Um, money dice, money dice. Now check out one of my um, past videos. I talk about money dice. Um, so I have some game suggestions in that video, but listen, anytime you can just get your gift, look, you can put these in your morning basket. Your kids can get up in the morning and just play these games or just stamp, have a little piece of paper in there with uh, uh, money and stuff or objects or whatever and they have this put the stamps in there and in the ink pad and they can stamp and do that in the morning by themselves independent work what have you but anyway so dice games i'm a big proponent of dice games um i think that's it what did i say uh the uh, the stamps 
the dice games, the intermediate multiplication games, the place value games, the place value mat, and the base 10 blocks. Okay, I think that's it for manipulatives to have to start. If, if nothing else, depending on the age of your child, um, get, uh, get the place value mat and get the base 10 blocks. Now, if you have older children, I do have some algebra tile, algebra tiles, like a I think they're called like fossey tiles or something like that. I forget. They're like blue and red. Those are great. Uh, also for the older kids, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go look because um, I don't use them. The tutor and the child uses them. Um, I, I have, I'm going to make another video covering all the math manipulatives that I use. I just grabbed those. I have so many more in the back of my cabinet that might be essential, but my kids have outgrown a lot of stuff. You know, I'll pull those out and I'll make those in another video. All right, guys. So those are my top math manipulatives for you and your child um definitely check them out and do know that um, a lot of these things you can find for cheap ebay will be your best friend okay and worst case scenario if you can't buy any of these manipulatives there are paper versions okay now with the base 10 blocks you'll have to do a lot of taping you'll have to use some card stock but it's doable okay so homeschooling doesn't have to be expensive it'll just it'll just take more time but you can definitely keep it within your budget so that's it i'll see you with another video another day i hope you saw i hope you found some value in this this is nikki with that homeschool life please like share and subscribe it helps me in these youtube algorithm streets and i love you guys Mwah! bye bye